Howard Dillon here with uh, Caldwell Banker and Rebecca Curry with Remax Real Estate. And we're here today in Cam Libs at 1300 Finley Avenue. And uh, we're going to uh, take you through this substantial property here today. You're going to see uh, all the highlights that it has to offer. Rebecca helped the current owners purchase it and she knows a considerable amount about it. So she's going to walk us through today and uh, Tell us a little bit about it now. Yeah, so 6,600 square feet on 163 acres, um, unobstructed views. There's a three bay garage, a two bay RV garage. Um, I mean, there's just so many features to highlight. It's been updated and, and um, substantially renovated, um, which we'll go over. And yeah, it's you, you don't want to miss this. Great. Well, let's uh, go in and take a look, and then we'll see you throughout the video and at the end as well. Okay, we're just going to head inside the house now, and look at this grand entrance. Such a gorgeous door entrance area. Let's see if Rebecca's in here. Hi. Hey, Rebecca. Come on in. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Wow. Exceptional. What a view. You weren't lying, were you? No. Holy Dinah. That looks like Kamloops Lake in the distance there. It is, yep. Kamloops Lake, both rivers, the Hoodoo Mountains. Wow. I mean... <laughs> Could you imagine coming home to this every day? Unbelievable. Such a grand entrance. It's one of a kind. Completely understated, timeless style and design. Mm -hmm. Wow. That looks like a, a painting. Okay, so wow, I can't believe that view. Um, Rebecca here again, and she's just gonna tell us a few uh, of the upgrades that the current owners uh, have done since she helped them purchase the property. Yeah, so they did a lot of cosmetic upgrades um, just to suit sort of their style and a more contemporary sort of style. Um, so flooring, vinyl plank flooring throughout the entire home, um, uh, new tile, new countertops, paint, um, light fixtures. <laughs> uh, I mean, really, they, they put in a lot more um, and, and just really showcased the property. Didn't they say they spent close to $200,000 or something like that in upgrades? I or? would say probably quite a bit more um, just with them widening the driveway as well as paving the lower half of the driveway so that, you know, dust transmission and things like that kept the house a lot cleaner. Um, so, I mean, I don't really think that there's a true value uh, that we can say that they've put into this property. Sure, no problem. Okay, but they've definitely done some upgrades. Mm, so many. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you. Okay, so we're just going to uh, have a walk through the property I'll here. i show you the kitchen. Okay, great. So I'm just going to give you guys just a quick little pan of this room here to give you a really good idea of the space. And then we'll head over to the kitchen. Look at that. Master bedroom down at the end there. That set of stairs goes to uh, the only room on the third level, which is a private office space. And there's a little look at the grand front entrance. Wouldn't it be just so incredible coming home to this every day? I actually don't think I'd ever leave. Okay. 
Okay, so we've uh, stopped here in the kitchen because it is one of the uh, main uh, showcase uh, positions of the home. And I mean, I see here there's double wall ovens, warming drawer down below by the looks of it. Is that a... That's a trash that? compactor. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, the pro line appliances uh, throughout with the sub-zero fridge and cooling drawers. Okay. Uh, Italian pot filler, there's brand new backsplash, brand new countertops. Uh, this island is completely redone so that it sort of allows for open flow um, to, the, to the dining area. And uh, there's also a dumb waiter, wow. so you can send drinks down below. <laughs> I like the way you think <laughs> drinks, not <Yeah>. food. <laughs> no. And then an amazing view to look at while you're cooking and entertaining guests. Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. You guys really should pick this property up before somebody else does. It's one of a kind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so just off the kitchen here, we've got a full wraparound outdoor deck, and you can see stamped concrete, and there is a barbecue hookup, gas barbecue hookup just to the left here. You can see a set of stairs down, and I mean, here's your view. Not hard to take it all that's uh kamloops lake just to the left there in the distance full valley view and you can see river views there and literally this is the property as far as the eyes can see pretty much all the way down to the highway there and the patio wraps around all the way down to the end there where the master bedroom is but i mean look at this <laughs> not hard to take Okay, just coming back inside here. Dining room. Pantry. And you can see a little desk there. There's your security system as well for the home. And heading into the laundry slash mudroom. And I don't think too many people can say that their laundry room has a view like this. Just incredible. Okay, from the laundry room, you can see just off to the right there, that's the door to your triple car garage and a little sitting area there uh, to put your shoes and such. And just heading down the hallway here, you have another door, the same little area there okay and main floor powder room there's one of the sets of stairs down to the lower level and we'll just head back this direction past your front grand entrance and we'll take a look at the master bedroom in a minute and we'll just go upstairs and take a look at that office space okay here's that upper loft office space and again gorgeous view it's hard to get a good shot of this room without a wide angle lens but you can get the feel for it a bit and just another look at that beautiful view Plenty of room for an office, and there's a little look at the stairs coming down and up. Okay, heading here into the master bedroom. And again, it just doesn't disappoint. 
That's a king size bed there and it looks tiny in this room. Walk-in closet. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. And vanity area here. Gorgeous cabinets. And just, again, unbelievable view. There's one of the two hot tubs for the home. Here's your master ensuite. That's a full steam shower. And I've been told that it's a self cleaning steam shower. Two sinks, which I call the marriage saver and bathtub with chandelier again, overlooking that unbelievable view. Okay, we'll get you a look at that steam shower. That gorgeous travertine tile. What a timeless style and design this home has to it. You even have room for exercising equipment in your master suite and it doesn't look cluttered. Such an amazing home. Here's a little look at that walk-in closet and floor to ceiling cabinets. One last look at the master suite and then we'll head downstairs. Okay, before we head downstairs, we'll just take another look here at two more rooms and shared bathroom, double sink, and there is a full bathtub behind that door. Good size bedrooms, 10 foot ceilings on the main floor, and lots of room here for family and guests. Again, view from your guest or third bedroom on the main floor. And now we're gonna head downstairs. Okay, we're downstairs here and I seem to have lost Rebecca. I'm not sure where she went. And I have sneaking suspicion she might be... Yep, there she is, in the wine room. <laughs> I'm just hiding out here in the uh, pre-plumbed room. So it's refrigeration. You can, you can set it up for refrigeration for, to keep the wines at the perfect temperature, um, as well as plumb for a sink, so you can do any rinsing and, and taste testing and even bottle your own wine down here. Great, okay. Um, well, let's, uh, if you're done drinking wine, maybe let's head over to uh, the other sections of the lower level here as well. And then we'll finish in the suite where I think the owners are hanging out or hiding right now while we put this video together. Okay, great. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here we are headed down into the workshop area just to the right there up the set of stairs is a workshop and lower level garage bathroom and this is the area we were talking about at the very beginning of the video that is actually a double garage for two RVs you can see full height doors and either two RVs or an RV and lots of toys and tons of room for a workshop
pretty special property here, folks. Just gonna get a quick look at the triple car garage on the main level. And you can see that there's tons of room here. In-floor heating and super clean like the rest of the house. Okay, so heading the other direction from when you come downstairs, as you can see, even more room down here. Gorgeous room. Look at that beautiful wood mantle. Tons of space for a pool table. Brand new carpets here for one of the upgrades. And there's Rebecca again. Well, she's not drinking wine. <laughs> so what can you tell us about this room here, Rebecca? So there is an ice maker um, that holds, I think it was 50 pounds of ice it makes per day. Uh, there's a dishwasher, so any sort of entertaining beverages can be washed down here. You don't have to put them upstairs. Uh, there's a sauna, as you can see with a change room as well as a shower uh, for people who either wanted to use the sauna or coming in from the hot tub as well. And is that the Lazy Susan right there to the left? Or? The dumb waiter? Or the dumb waiter. Yeah, to right? the left, yeah. Sure. Yeah, so all the beverages and things can come from up to down, bring in the snacks. It's the perfect entertainment payment and another hot tub. Uh, yes, yeah. This is the party tub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll take a look outside here and then we'll have a look at the basement suite. Okay, so there's your second hot tub and you can see, even though you're on the lower level, I mean, you still have full 180 degree views here and gorgeous valley view. And all you can hear is birds and crickets. Complete privacy. Okay, here's the little sneak peek at the equipment room. You can see two panels there. Obviously a substantial system. I mean, I would need to check with the uh, current owners to find out exactly what's entailed here, but super substantial. Around the corner there, uh, in and behind, is actually three hot water tanks uh, for the home. So I don't think you'd ever run out of hot water here. And then obviously built-in vacuum system as well. There's a little look at part of the uh, HVAC system. We're gonna go take a look at the suite now. Okay, heading into the suite here. We have a one bedroom, self-contained suite. On the lower level, fridge, stove, dishwasher, laundry. Got two entrances or exits onto the patio. There's a little look at the clothes washer and dryer. And great space here could be a nanny suite if you're a professional and you need daycare for your kids full-size bathroom tub shower great little sitting area there with tv gas fireplace and a very large sized bedroom suite and a huge walk-in closet. Let's see if I can get a shot of it there.
What a great space for friends, family, guests, or that nanny I was talking about. Again, has a view and even its own barbecue. Okay, we're just gonna head up the stairs here to the second floor, finalize the video for you, and then we'll head outside Put the drone in the air, get you some aerials of both the grounds and of the home to give you a final feel of the property and how substantial it is. Okay, folks, well, there you have it. I want to thank Rebecca for uh, being a good sport and joining me here today. And uh, what are you waiting for? I, this is <laughs> a really great property, folks. Don't miss this one. <laughs>